What's going on everybody? Stanley Parrish here. Welcome back to the show. I hope you're having a creative day today. I know everybody's out there getting those Christmas portraits. You're taking pictures in the snow and all that good stuff. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make snow in Photoshop. If you ever wanted to learn how to add snow to your photos, this is going to be the tutorial for you. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Let me tell y'all a secret. The only way this technique is gonna work for you, you have to be in the Christmas spirit. That's the only way it's gonna work. If you're not in the Christmas spirit, it's not gonna work. Just as simple as that. All right, so here we go. We got this picture right here. We can see a little bit of snow in the background, um, just a little bit. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna add some more snow just to make the portrait look a little bit more interesting so what you want to do is we're going to create a new document to create a snow brush so we're going to go to file new we got 500 pixels by 500 pixels at 72 resolution and that's fine i'm going to hit create okay I'm going to create a new layer. I'm just going to name it snow. Make sure the color is black. It is. And what you want to do is create a um, a regular brush. You're just going to um, select a regular brush, a hard brush. So make sure the hardness is set at 100%. There we go. I'm gonna make a circle right here. And then we're gonna make a smaller one up here. Bam. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is get your smudge tool. And I'm gonna set the strength to 20%. On my smudge tool, we're going to make sure the edges are soft. So the hardness is set to 0%. And I'm just going to smudge just a little bit. And there's there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just, you know, however you want your snowflakes to look, go for it. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Okay, so boom. I'm just going to just smudge around the edges. Like so, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And on this one down here, I'm just gonna smudge down just to give it a weird shape. All right, I think that's pretty good. Just soften those edges just a little bit. Okay, so now you want to select all. Um, we're going to go to select all we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to define brush preset click that and i'm just going to name the brush snow brush 01 and we're going to hit okay and there we go we now have a snow brush so i'm going to go back to the original document and I'm going to create a new layer. And we're going to name that layer Snow. Okay, so now you want to grab your brush tool. And you want to find your snow brush that you just made, which is going to be at the bottom. And here's the brush we just created right here. I'm going to select that. And I just want to see what it looks like. So that's the... That's what the brush looks like now. 
It doesn't really look like snow, but we're gonna fix that. So what we wanna do now, is we wanna customize this brush to make it look like real snow. So you wanna go over here to your brush settings and we're gonna click transfer. We don't want all of our snow to be the same opacity. So I'm gonna set the opacity jitter to 100% and I'm gonna set my, I'm gonna click scattering cause we want the snow to scatter. And I'm gonna check both axes and we're gonna turn the scatter. You can see what it's doing down here in the preview area. I'm gonna turn the scatter up to say 900%. We don't want the brush to be the same size. We wanna have some random, we want some of them to be small, some of them to be big. So you can set your size jitter to let's say well, let's say 100 100% on the size jitter and we want some of these to be at different angles so we're going to change the angle jitter to let's say 90% and the roundness and what this what the roundness jitter is going to do is just going to um change the shape of the brush just a little bit so we're gonna crank that up. See to about 65% minimum roundness. I'm gonna choose 65% here too. And right now the 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 snow, the snow flurries are a little bit too close together. So I just want to add some, I want to add some spacing. So right now the spacing is set to 10%. I'm going to crank it up to 50%. Let's see, maybe 55%. No, 50%. We'll leave it at 50%. And let's see what we got now. You can see the, the snow is nice and scattered. They're not too close together. It's looking pretty good. So now you have your snow brush. When you start painting your snow on top of your photo, you want to do this in layers. The snow in the background is going to be smaller and it's going to be out of focus. So we're going to create some small flurries in the background. We're going to blur it out to make it look real. And as the snow get, uh, gets, gets closer to the camera, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make the brush size a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna brush around here. And don't worry about getting the snow on your model's face because you can go back and erase that. Okay, so now we're gonna make a new layer and we're just gonna increase the size just a little bit. Maybe 200. See, now the snow is getting closer to the camera, so I just made it just a little bit bigger here. Make a new layer. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So now we want some snow to be like right in front of the model, like close to the um, close to the lens. So I'm gonna make these nice and big. I'm gonna make a new layer. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna paint. Just keep painting, paint, paint, paint away. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a new layer, make it bigger. I think that's looking pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna hide these layers. I'm gonna go back to my first one. And right now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put a Gaussian blur on this. Um, no, just to blur these out just a little bit. So I'm gonna go to filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. 
and I'm going to choose, you don't have to blur, if you blur it too much, then you're going to lose them. See, that's, now you can't see them now. So you want to choose a, a low radius. <clears throat> Think about 2.5 maybe. Yeah, and we're going to turn on the next layer. Gaussian blur. Maybe choose something like uh, 4.5, maybe. Let's try that. And then you want to turn on the next layer. Okay, so these, now we're getting closer to the camera. Now I'm going to erase some of these. And that's a good that's the good thing about doing this in Photoshop. You can go back and erase parts that you don't need or don't want. So I'm going to erase this off of her hat. I don't want this in her hair. We don't want these in her face. Okay, so on this layer, I'm going to go to, I'm going to add a motion blur just to give it a sense of movement like the snow is actually falling from the sky so i'm going to go to filter blur motion blur and well, i'm going to zoom in so you can see what it's doing blur motion blur and you want to change your angle i'm going to make my angle about 65 percent 65 degrees and the distance that's going to be how much of a blur you're going to get how much of a motion blur you don't want to do it too much just a little bit something like uh, 40 pixels okay so the edges are still kind of hard so I'm going to soften it up I'm going to add another Gaussian blur and this time we're going to choose maybe Something like 3.5 should be good. Okay. I'm going to bring the, we got one more layer to go. So right now I just want to erase some of this stuff off of her face. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. So we're gonna add another motion blur to this layer. I'm gonna add another Gaussian blur again. All right, so this is the last layer. I'm gonna erase some of the parts I don't want. I'm gonna add another motion blur. This time on the Gaussian blur, I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit more. Let's see. Say maybe like 20 pixels. You know, if you want to change the opacity on some of this stuff, you can take your eraser tool and bring the opacity down to maybe, let's say 20% on your eraser and just erase over some of this stuff. Um, you know, if the brush is too strong for you, I think that looks pretty good. And here's the before, after, before, after. All right. That's it, people. I hope you all learned something from this tutorial. Go out and give it a try. Um, feel free to play around with it. Tweak some of the settings. If you enjoy the content, please, please hit that subscribe button. Like this video, drop a comment, share this video with all your friends and family, and I will see you on the next one.